Hello everybody. <coughs> today, today we are going to talk about unit 2b, rational numbers. So in this unit we will discuss addition and subtraction of fractions with common denominator, with non-common denominator, multiplication division, and some other comparison numbers. So we have a few levels and today we are going to begin with mission one add and subtract fractions with common denominator so you are after you're done with your video notes supposed to finish fractions worksheet one in mission one so already familiar with all of those drawings with circles and if we have this type of picture and first thing we count how many a piece of pizza we have over here and this will be like one two three four five so five total and two of them are left let's say all of those are eaten already no more piece of pizzas here only two left so two out of five we have left plus another pizza uh, type of pizza that also have five pieces total one two three four five and we have only one piece left one out of five so when we are adding this type of pizza plus this total what here's what happened with the same same exact denominator we keep the same number and we're adding only the denominators are the top numbers so two piece of pizza plus one piece of pizza will give us total of three piece of pizza out of five that could hold into the box so I know those fractions will be very easy to go and move forward because this is some of the stuff you actually learn in your um, early elementary school years and remember we did discuss that this is the last time uh, we are reviewing fractions next year you would not have this option um, it will be much more um, advanced stuff in math and as a review to end this trimester rational numbers will be part of this so let's go ahead and start with some of the examples and do the solutions and solving them so first example we have 5 18 plus 7 18 again 18 stays in the bottom 5 plus 7 is 12 now when you get these numbers remember we also talk about simplifying fractions so make sure you simplify as much as you can so both of those are divisible by 3 12 by 3 is 4 18 divided by 3 will be what is 6 we have another 2 here so the answer will be 2 thirds 2 thirds will be the final answer for this example next one we have subtraction here same common denominator 7 minus 5 is 2 2 18 which is 1 9th final simplest form make sure please um, simplify as much as you can this is our goal not just solving but also simplifying and next example we have a mixed numbers here so let's go ahead and convert those to improper fractions because it will be a little bit easy to work that way so remember when we're converting we're keeping the same exact denominator so 7 times 8 we multiply those two uh, or 8 times 7 is 56 then plus 5 will give us 61 minus keep the same denominator 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1 will be 29 okay so now the denominator is 7 61 minus 29 so we have 32 and 7 how many times 7 goes into 32 will be 4 times which is um, 28 and then the difference will be 4 so 4 and 4 sevenths will be the final answer for this example next one we have another uh, two mixed numbers so we'll continue practicing with converting to improper fractions 5 is the denominator 7 times 5 is 35 plus 1 36 on the top then next one is another 5 we're adding we have plus sign here so 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 7 fifths 
5 is the common denominator. 36 plus 7 will give us 43. 5 goes into 43 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. So from 40 to 43 we have 3 left. 8 and 3 fifths will be my final answer for this one. And the next examples, example, we have 3 over 5. So 3 over 5 stays plus sign. This we need to convert to improper. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 7. We get 27 over 5, which is 30 over 5. Well, 30 over 5 actually is 6. So final answer 6 for this example. Okay, so here's the big point here. Not just adding uh, and subtracting fractions or regular fractions, improper fractions with common denominators, but also making sure we simplify as much as we can. Okay, so if you need time, you can just pause the video and I'm moving forward. If you're ready, you can go ahead and move with me. Next example will be a real life example with improper f or mixed numbers or regular fractions but we're gonna have to add or subtract so let's see the examples uh, the example and we'll decide what we need to do Anton uses 7 ninths gallon of water roses he uses 1 ninth fewer gallons of water to water herbs how much water does Anton use to water the roses and herbs okay so Anton uses 7 and 9 7 ninths gallons of water. He also uses 1 ninth fewer gallons of water to water those herbs. So he did 7 ninths. This is about for the roses. And he also used 1 ninth, so plus 1 ninth for the herbs. And the question is how much water he used to water both roses and herbs. So very simple, we just need to add the, um, the two fractions, which means we copy the denominator, 7 plus 1 will give us 8. So 8 ninths of the water he used in order to water both roses and herbs. Alright, awesome. So if you feel comfortable so far, you can stop here. If you want to do a couple more examples with me, keep watching the video. Otherwise, this could be the end of the lesson. So for those of you who decide to do some extra practice, 4 over 5 plus 2 over 5 will give us 6 over 5. This is improper fraction. We can simplify 5 goes into 6 one time. And 1 times 5 is 5, so the difference of 5 and 6 is 1. 1 and 1 fifth will be my simplest form. Right here we have a subtraction, so 8 times 4, again we need to convert both of those mixed numbers to improper fractions. So 4 times 8 is 32 plus 3 will give us 35. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 will give us 25. So 4 is the common denominator, 35 minus 25 is 10, and this will be reduced to 2 and 2 fourths are 2 and 1 half. So 2 and 2 fourths will be the, simple, the mixed number of this improper fraction. Next one, we have again two numbers with common denominator of 8 plus sign between 1 times 8 is 8 plus 6, 14 eighths. And 4 times 8 is 32 plus 3 will give us 35 eighths. Adding those two numbers, we get 49 over 8. So 8 goes into 49, oh, 6 times, right? 6 times 8 is 48, so 6 times. And 48, the difference between 48 and 49 is 1. So 6 and 1, 8 will be my final answer here. And the last example, we have two common denominators, 12, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 twelves, or 1 half as a final answer. All right, so that's all. You guys can go ahead and begin with your practice now. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.